Hello guys, this is Frank from the BI Forms, and in this Armor 3 video, I want to show you guys how to implement the dynamic group system. It's very simple to do and very fast, so let's get this started. Go to My Documents, Armor 3 Other Profiles, your Armor 3 Profile, your Missions folder, then find out which folder your mission is located in, and create two files, the init-server.sqf and init-player-local.sqf. Don't worry about the description ext. For this video, it's not necessary at all. So, in the init-player-local.sqf, just copy and paste this line of code right here. And this shit will be in the description of the video. If not, if YouTube doesn't let me do that, it'll be in the annotation, and you can copy and paste annotations. So just copy and paste this code in the init player local.sqf. And then in the init server.sqf, just copy and paste this code. And that is all you do. Make sure you save the files, and that's about it. That's there you go. You implemented a fucking dynamic group system and it'll work. I'm gonna demonstrate it now. Export to multiplayer. Play in multiplayer, there you go. All right, now if I press the U key, we can access the dynamic group system. I could disband the group, which will kick everyone out of the group and delete the group, or I could just leave the group. But because this is all, these are all AI units, if I leave, the group will get disbanded completely. I could create a new group, and there you go. And it seems to assign a random fucking picture, but you, you can actually change the picture here using scripting commands, which I can cover in another video if you guys want, but anyway. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was great, like it. Or if you didn't like it, then you can dislike it. Do whatever the fuck you want. Fuck out.